1927, a German by the name Fritz Flumer perfected the formula for magnetic tape. It was based on early primitive forms of recording where audio was recorded onto pieces of wire. Could you imagine buying your favourite album on a piece of fence wire? Jump to 1935 and AEG released the first reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. This was called the Magnetophone. This is by far my favourite incarnation of the tape because, well, it looks so cool. Who wouldn't love listening to some Pink Floyd watching these giant wheels turn around? I mean, it looks like something that fell out of a James Bond movie in the 60s. I admire your luck, Mr... Bond. James Bond. Still, this format was large and cumbersome and so it was mainly used for broadcasting and recording studios. We still needed that nice, small, easy to use size that could compete with vinyl, which was the other big player of the time. In 1962, Philips created what we now know as the modern cassette tape. It took a couple of years to become the industry standard, and this was helped greatly because Philips decided to make the format free to use. In 1964, Philips also released the Norelico carry quarter recorder player. This thing was brilliant. It was small, you could take it anywhere, you could do your recordings, get your mic out, interview someone. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. The audio quality of the tape in the 60s was still pretty subpar, but by the time the 70s had rolled around, this had improved greatly, and this brought on the next thing for the tape. Pirating music. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. But nowadays you may be forgiven for thinking that piracy started with Napster. But it started a long, long time before that. The ease of being able to create your own mixtape. Put the tape into the hands of kids everywhere. You can record from the radio or straight from your LPs. 1979 saw the introduction of the Sony Walkman. You really feel the music with the Sony Walkman. The Sony Walkman is a tiny stereo cassette player with truly incredible sound. You really feel the music. You really feel it. You really feel the music. Put on a Walkman and see the world in a whole new light. Sony Walkman. The Walkman from Sony, the one and only. Now this was it. You could now put your headphones on and go anywhere with your favourite music. It just started the portable music revolution. This has been a brief history of the cassette tape. If you think I've missed something, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. Head to Facebook, give us a like, head to YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much, this has been a Music News production. See you later.